Hi, I'm Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to open the Drift Chat plugin from any button in your website. So I'm going to be using the Bridge theme, but here's an example on our current website for Mesa Digital Marketing. Chat with us now. I click it, pops open this side menu. My face is probably in the way, but there's a place to chat right down here in the bottom right corner. So to do that, um, we just got to do copy and paste a few different things. I am going to assume that you already have the uh, chat plugin installed in your website. So this is our tutorial site. I'll walk you through how to do that. Um, but just download the plugin, create an account, and then it will tell you where to copy the code and put it into the plugin settings. I can show you right down here is settings, drift, and then you'll paste your JavaScript in there. Uh, make sure it's enabled. Okay, so after you have a plugin ready to go, the next step is to decide where you want to put your button. We're going to put it right here on our home page. And I'm just going to add, I'm using Visual Composer. If you just want to do it straight HTML, it's fine. Whatever works best, but um, it could work with any drag and drop. You're just going to add some text. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of everything that's in here. And I'm going to cheat and just grab it straight from other site and show you what it is. So what I'm doing here, this, this part here is a, um, we're adding a class to this anchor text um, that styles the button for us for the bridge theme. Um, this gives us that nice hover effect and everything we want for the button. Um, you can do that custom yourself, whatever works best. This next class is actually a, uh, that's the class that we need to run the JavaScript from chat, from drift to open with a, a button click. So that's gonna be important. So we're gonna hit save changes. So chat with us now. Um, I guess one other part I didn't point out when you edit it, you're just going to see text. Make sure you're doing this all in the text editor for HTML. And then chat with us now can be anything you want it to say. So chat, whatever. You can put anything really in there. So save changes. And if I update it now, I'll show you what it looks like. It's actually not going to work just yet. So I'll refresh the page because we still have to add um, the JavaScript that um, Drift has graciously provided for us. So I'm going to scroll down here. I made a little gray section here with the chat with us now button so you can see that has all of the effects that I want it to, to have for bridge theme. So if I click on it, it's gonna pop open this chat button or this chat widget. Again, I know you can't see it at the bottom right as a place for them to start typing. Okay, so it's working for me because I guess I did forget to take off the, the one bit. This is the bit that you have to put in. So go to settings and then go to drift and you've already, you should already have your JavaScript in there just to have it run on your site for, for Drift. So here's the, um, the default code for that syncing of Drift. And then just put a space afterwards and you're gonna paste a whole new block of code. And I'll include this URL in the link, but this is just a start, uh, uh, some documentation from Drift. So I just literally highlighted it all, pushed copy, went over to the drift options and pasted it a space below the other code and then hit save. After you do that, you shouldn't have any issue adding that um, bit of class and text to any button or any page and you should be good to have that widget open for you. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I didn't find any videos around yet about how to apply it, but there is good documentation and it shouldn't be too difficult and hopefully that helps out if you're a little uncomfortable or unfamiliar with the coding. But thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you on more videos in the future.